Well, we're contemporary music programmers. Uh, we work with a lot of festivals. Love that feeling of a festival, of an event that sort of erupts and brings together lots of artists and does special things. So we've created festivals, but we also program into Norfolk and Norwich. We've been involved in the festival for a long time, uh, one way or another, and it's something that's grown very organically. What's inspiring? What's never been to Norwich? What can we do? Where do artists want to work together in a kind of enthusiastic environment for the very first time? In the first week, it's mostly work in places like the Playhouse, St Andrew's Hall, Theatre Royal Norwich, where Dee Dee Bridgewater is doing an amazing collaboration with Snarky Puppies, uh, Bill Lawrence, uh, things like that. And then in the second week, it's mostly about the Spiegel Tent, um, which is a really exciting place because people in Norwich have learned to trust that there's going to be fantastic music there, even if they haven't heard all the names of the people. So there's new bands like Ezra Collective coming, amazing Angolan hip hop acts called um, Throws and the Shine who are playing there. It's the only gig they're doing outside London. Um, Kansas Smitties, who are a group who take kind of uh, 30s jazz and propel it into the into the 21st century. Uh, very theatrical, great star to it. For me, I love it because it's a festival in the best sense. It's interesting to me because it is the oldest festival in Britain. I mean, it goes back hundreds and hundreds of years. But instead of it being sort of stayed and cluttered with a certain set of expectations, it feels like a Norwich audience wanted to propel them forward, to go to, to see work that they wouldn't otherwise get to see.